Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my Sims 4 Tiny Living Micro Build of a container with an attic. Now I got the idea of doing this from the live stream where they said that you can use the roof space and I decided that instead of just using the roof space open to the air, which doesn't work as well when you have seasons, I would actually put a roof on and make it bigger, which I often do in my regs to riches. I'll use a roof and stick a door on it and let the Sims sort of live inside the roof when they have no money because it's a cheap way of getting shelter for them. So. This is a micro build, which is like the tier one of the three types of homes you can get. And with the tier one, it has to be, it can only be up to 32 um, tiles or grids. And tier two is up to 64 and tier three is up to 100. So as I said, this one is going to be up to 32 and it's going to be precisely 32. And it's kind of a container because it's going to be four by eight which you can see me doing there right now. And then it has a really tiny bathroom <laughs> there, which only has room for a toilet and a shower. The sink is going to be in the kitchen area. So I did add some tiles out there because that area is going to be a covered porch or patio, but it's not, it just was tiles. So it doesn't actually count as a floor space. And here's me adding the covered area for it, adding the little awning that's going to be covering it. And then I have a little back awning covering the back of the place. And I got this because when I first was playing around with this, um, putting that there meant you could see where the wall was because to be able to give enough ceiling height, you kind of have to drag this attic area out one grid over so it's essentially five grids but really you only get four grid space but in the end i ended up doing a half wall because that, i'll explain that when i closer get to, when i get to that so there's the stairs that you use and there's a short half wall just to essentially diff so that you're not going down over and then you can see me putting those half walls in the one half wall is to split the two places up and the back half wall isn't really needed but it's very useful because you can put lights and things on it because one thing you can't do with a roof is put a ceiling in it so the only place you're going to have is the walls and the advantage of using the half walls is that you can um, they'll stay up when you have your walls down because of course if you're playing in a roof you need to have the roof you have to have the walls all the way down or they'll get in your way for the most part that's sort of a general thing so you kind of want to have some walls that are staying up normally I don't like that half wall stay up but in this case it's very handy and you would have noticed maybe a little back I um, was limiting the packs this is pack is primarily base game and uh, parenthood and tiny living there are a few items in the end the thing that are cats and dogs in the seasons but if you don't have those packs they're not needed it's just that the family that I was playing in here with had a cat so obviously those things were necessary and I have seasons so some of the things like you know the umbrella rack and a thermometer they were useful when you're actually playing in the game and I think I have a patchy and there's some plants some seasoned plants because they were playing and doing that so here you can see the little wall typer I top her I changed it to white because you can see it through and then I add this to sort of make it like it's supposed to be a decor item and then I put some window boxes on I do change these later off camera to slightly less expensive ones so this is not a budget build but I was trying to make it so it wasn't really overly expensive is what I kind of did and back here is a covered what's going to be a covered garden area but of course as you can see you can see that it's saying it's getting bigger so it's not in the micro tier right now but this is just a temporary addition of that so I could add a roof over it and then once I get this roof I get rid of the bottom so I'm mainly sort of showing the process of how I did the micro build and then I'm going to just show some screenshots essentially of how the house so you can see it's gone uh, and uh, there it is with like the of course you don't need the columns but it would look kind of silly if you didn't have the columns and there is a little bit of landscaping but again I sort of did that off camera and while that was tile on the porch there is actually a matching um, 
train paint that matches it completely so I use some of that instead of making the cost go up even more because I had been doing some really budget budget builds so I was sort of keeping that in mind when I was doing it but like I said I think this ends up being around 37 38,000 to move in so it's definitely not a budget build if you don't have cats and dogs in seasons it will come down a little bit more so here is the actual you know the main floor plan and you can see I added a little half wall to uh, have a little space that's where the kitchen's going to be. You see the little bathroom with the shower and you can barely, you can't really see the toilets there. But uh, so there is the main floor and here is the second floor which there was a door added between the two rooms and essentially it's for a couple and a child or a toddler because I have two versions of this build. The, what you're seeing here is the version that's for a child just zoomed over to show this side so it's set up right now for a child but for a toddler it's um the layout is quite different just because you can't have uh, the teddy bear beside the bed the toddlers can't get in and here's an example of what it looks like in the day versus at night because those lights are really needed and the same for this is the child version of the room and there you go with the nighttime shots of it and the toddler version of the room, which you can see has a bathtub because of course toddlers need bathtubs and there was no room downstairs for a bathtub at all. And so here's a couple of views of the house from the outside. And um, yeah, so it's gonna be on the gallery. And of course the benefits of having a micro home are a lot. All six of those um, lot perks are what you get. You get light in the load, i.e. your bills are lower, your relationship gains are doubled, which if you have a negative relationship, it will go double that way too. Uh, let it grow. Your plants grow twice as fast as normal, so that's great when you're starting out. Uh, feeling fine all the time. Happy, inspired, and focused buffs last twice as long. You got the touch. Your skills increase at double the standard rate. That's something I like especially and cozy comforts relax everything is twice as comfortable as it is generally of course this build does have the murphy bed you need to be level three to upgrade it so it breaks less often which is going to reduce the chances of it killing your sims and i heard that if you upgrade it to be unbreakable it shouldn't kill your sims i haven't actually used it very much because i honestly don't even want to take a chance i don't really like my sims dying and you need to be level eight to be able to do that final upgrade so essentially in this place even though i have the murphy bed in the main area downstairs you really don't need to use it you could even just replace it with a regular love seat having it there means that say you had another person living in the house they could live in that space if of course you upgraded it if you don't want your sims to get killed and here are the details of the um, what's the build on the gallery and you can see it does show that there's cats and dogs and seasons there and you can see the items there I took a little screenshots of what was included in there but you can see they're pretty specific to needing the pack and this is the version for the toddler you can see the little screenshot again of the room for the toddler and then here is the version for the child so version one is for a toddler and version two is for a child and you can see the price is about 38,000 simoleons of course on the gallery you don't see these screenshots because it's most of like the bedroom space well all the bedroom space is in the attic or the roof and this gallery doesn't count that as a floor so you can't see that all you can see is the main floor and that's it and of course the outside shots but uh, that's gonna be it for this video thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time bye this has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos of challenge, let's plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much.